Hey guys, Gaijin Hunter here, and sorry it took a few days, but I wanted to combine a bunch of these into one longer video because I thought it would be easier for viewing, and it's great to have a lot of exciting things in a row. So sit back, we're going to be covering the Lance, the Gun Lance, the Switch Axe, the Charge Blade, Insect Glaive, and finally the Light Bow Gun. After the videos with my own personal subtitles, unofficial translations of course, I will be going over the videos one more time um, with my added commentary. So if you stick around for both, great. If not, that's fine as well. Let's get started.
Now I really love the Lance, it was my first main weapon back in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and it has a really special place in my heart. They're making a very big change for the Lance. The Lance, if you don't know, has a triple strike. You do a 1, 2, 3 with your thrust. They're changing the third thrust, which is going to greatly change the mechanic of the weapon. If you notice here, the second thrust, it's a step weight and then a triple hit. So the idea is that it does a lot of damage, a lot of elemental damage, and if you notice, they've also made it the counter attack and also the counter cancel as well. So this is going to make Lance into a much more powerful elemental dealing weapon, and I could not be more excited. Now this is the aerial style. Um, I mean, this is great. It's just a nice hop forward and slam in. Now, of course, with evade lancing or even guard lancing, you're always going to be next to the monster. So being able to find an opportunity to jump in like this is going to be over all the time. And now this really wonderful thing called the Shield Assault, which is a move where it's really fast charge inward and you're guarding the entire time. So you're not going to take any damage. Then you can finish it off with a strike. Um, so exciting stuff. Next up is the Gun Lance. Now I got to admit I'm not a huge Gun Lance player, but I know a lot of you are, so there's a lot to be excited about. So they're making a really big change to the Gun Lance this time. That yeah, first sounded like a nerf, but it's actually not at all. If you notice, there's now a heat gauge up above, and each time that you shell, it moves that gauge a little towards the right. Now what that does is as it goes through yellow, orange, and red, your normal attacks with the lance actually get stronger. Not your shelling, but your lance. So now using both the shelling and the lance interchangeably is going to be a very powerful style. How much more powerful? That remains to be seen. Now here's the aerial style with the gun lance, which I think is going to be really popular. I mean, look at this. You can do a shell, you can do a hit, followed by a full burst. This is going to be really great for normal type shot lances. Not only that, it just looks really cool, doesn't it? Now this is the super skill that they've been showing off in some of their past demos. Uh, it just looks like if you have a monster that's not going to be moving for a small period of time, you just literally blast the living hell out of it. Um, I do love how they trip the Kezu here, the poor thing. Anyway, so get ready for the gun lance. Next up is the switch axe, or the slash axe as we call it here in Japan. Now this is another one of my favorite weapons. It almost looks like they've sped up, like the other weapons, it looks like they've almost sped up the combos a little bit, which is really exciting. Now I really hope that they make a change here so that the axe mode becomes a little bit more uh, relevant. Um, but we'll see what they do. I do love the new effects for the paralyzation here. Um, they've really enhanced the effects of everything throughout the game, which is pretty exciting. I don't see any new moves for the Switch Axe, but honestly, it didn't need it. Uh, it got a lot of really cool moves um, in the last few games, so I really think that it's a very complete weapon. So here's the Slash Axe in the Aerial Style. Now this is going to be a little confusing for some people, but with the Aerial Style, you don't actually get normal evades. It gets replaced by that hop jump. So that's going to trip up a lot of people, but as we saw in the demo the other day, you can still do side hops even if you're in aerial style, so I think it's going to be a popular one for switch axe. Finally, this finisher, I mean, it looks really cool, but it is a combo that you can already do without the move, uh, and it is pretty long, so I think if you do it, you just got to be careful. I'm hoping that the motion values for those hits are a little bit more powerful than they are if you did it normally. And now on to Charge Blade. Now, no one expects a new move for Charge Blade. This scene has gotten so much buffs in the last two games, it is ridiculous. Um, the weapon, I would actually say, is a little overpowered in Monster Hunter for Ultimate, so we'll see what they do with the actual files, and especially with the KO. So a lot of new uh, Charge Blade users out there, and I don't blame you guys. It is a versatile, fun weapon that loans itself really well to both, I would say, beginner play and also very high-level pro play. Um, there's a lot of different ways to play it, and I think that the super skills and the different armors and everything is just going to make it that much more diverse. If you notice here that the super burst or the ultra burst, I think, is now only one hit. You don't get that nice shock wave afterwards, which is actually kind of nice. It probably means that it's less powerful, but also means that it's easier to hit with, so that's cool. And that right there, that super coming off the air, is just ridiculous. So this is the energy blade. I really wish they would have showed it with files in there because they do mention that it gets more powerful if you have files and then they go here and use it with no files charged at all. So kind of disappointed that they did that, but whatever. 
And now on to the Insect Glaive. This is another weapon again that is really powerful, so I'm not expecting anything new. I really do love the new Eodrome uh, design here for the Glaive. I think we'll see a lot of new weapons for both the Charge Axe and, or the Charge Blade and the Insect Glaive. Now what is nice, it doesn't look like they've actually nerfed anything. Um, it just looks like they haven't added much. Um, I do like the little stamina gauge now underneath uh, where your Kinsect takes the juice. That's not to tell you how long the effect is, it's to tell you whether or not you have enough stamina on your Kinsect to call it out to go grab another thing. Look at the textures though on the Tetsukabra. I know this is about the Glaive, but the textures on this monster look absolutely fantastic. I think they're doing a lot of overhaul. Um, I'm assuming that this is only going to be on the new 3DS with the nice textures, the same way they did it with for Ultimate, but we'll see. The aerial style is interesting because instead of launching you up really high, it launches you forward. So I actually think that this is going to be a nice combination with the existing jump, and I think people are going to find it uh, very interesting and fun to play. Now for the really wacky move here. Um, this was the swarm of insects, and the motion length before you do it is really long. And a lot of Japanese players are commenting that they're not sure if they're going to use it because it looks like it takes a long time to activate. However, we can assume that these bugs that are hitting the monster every few seconds are probably stupidly strong. Um, it's got to be, otherwise I don't think anybody would use it, so looking forward to hearing more about that. Then finally, the light bow gun. Now this is really exciting. I think we're going to get a lot more light bow gunners in this game thanks to the changes that they're doing. So not only has a light bow gun always been a really trusty weapon, it's very nimble, it's very versatile, it can hold lots of different bullets. You now also get a special type called the internal shot, which you'll see here when he selects the wyvern fire. There's actually a second type of shot. We've already have I think five or six different new types of shots confirmed, but each bow gun is going to have a special shot that it can do which is really exciting. Obviously with evasion this is going to be a great weapon uh, for running around and of course now they've made it so that you can shoot while you're in the air and that's not even a style thing so that's pretty cool. The aerial style though I mean come on look at that that is just beautiful and you can even mount from a shot that is just insane. And finally we have the super skill here which is really more of an evasive move which I'm actually really happy to see. If you notice you're in deep trouble you hit it you jump all the way back and you leave a nice little explosive surprise for the monster that tried to get you. So this could be fun, especially against Dino Valdo. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think all these weapons are looking absolutely fantastic. I think the gun lance is going to be interesting to see exactly how much it actually powers up your weapon. I'm happy to see it become more of a technical weapon, uh, and I think a lot of gun lancers are going to love it. Uh, switch Axe, Charge Blade, I mean they're all looking just really great, but I do think that the spotlight here goes to the Light Bowgun. I think th with the combination of new bullet types, the internal bullet types, shooting in the air, and an aerial style which will work really well with such a uh, nimble weapon as a Light Bowgun, I think we're going to see a lot of Light Bowgun users. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, these videos, and tomorrow, um, as of the time of posting this, we'll have our final two videos which is the heavy bow gun and the bow, and I'm expecting the bow to be absolutely insane. And then a few days later, they said that they are going to release a final video with everything that also shows all the other uh, hunting styles. So look forward to a video for that. I'm particularly interested in learning more about the Bushido style. Uh, but until then, happy hunting.